No doubt about it, the Bay Area is famous for its musical stars. But one of the biggest names in the region's entertainment industry is one most people wouldn't recognize, John Gilbert. He is a simple man whose extraordinary talents have influenced an entire generation of classical guitar players. Reporter Mark Jones has tonight's cover story, Making Music. I like it because it's, it's very private, it's very intimate, um, it's very expressive. I love the particular quality of sound that it has. David Tannenbaum is a 31-year-old classical guitarist who has performed throughout the world. He is playing a Gilbert guitar, built for him by a man who for the last 12 years has been mentor and friend. This man, John Gilbert of Woodside. If anybody would have told me when I was a tool maker many, many years ago that someday I'd be building guitars for a living, I'd tell him, yeah, you're also out of your mind. 65-year-old John Gilbert, and as he said, a former tool maker, a blue-collar type, who has become one of the world's great classical guitar makers. He has a 17-year waiting list for his guitars. Never forget seeing the first time I saw one of my guitars played in concert. Uh, it was a moving experience to see it. It's like seeing one of your children become successful, you know. I like, first of all, the practicality of the Gilbert. I like the fact that he, that he really builds them for players. It's a very basic instrument, is how I look on it. Um, it's, uh, it's crafted just beautifully, but um, it's not the beauty of the thing uh, visually as it is the sound that I think he focuses on the most. be inquisitive and you have to have great mechanical aptitude I believe uh, you got to think almost think like a guitar is what's going on inside this all began as a hobby in 1965 but for the last 15 years has been a full-time profession Gilbert is self-taught and says he learned everything right here in the shop by constantly experimenting he is now working on his 119th guitar you no know, I never have damaged uh, Never one that I couldn't fix, let me put it that way. <laughs> I enjoy it. There's no stress. I don't need to fight traffic. I can just come down to my shop in the morning, work when I feel like it. And now, if I don't feel like it, I don't work. I go bicycling or do whatever I please. But I, I love building the cars. I really do. It's, it's a pleasure. I was more impatient as I was young. As I got older, I realized it. This stupidity of impatience. This is the Rosetta, and, and all designers, all guitar makers, rather, have their own design. It distinguishes my guitars from someone else's. And uh, I'll follow through with this pattern. It'll be a, it's like a trademark. He's just very honest and extremely straightforward and has the enthusiasm of a little kid. I, I really think he, there's a child in him that's just, you know, very out front, and uh, it's it's really that sense of wonder I think in him that uh, helps make him be such a great maker. At one time, Gilbert could build a guitar in 11 days, sometimes two in a month. Now, he will average seven a year and guarantee all his work. Guitars he once sold for $475 now cost $3,000. Each guitar I experiment somewhat with, and the excitement comes in finding out what the hell you've created, you know? Or, or, or did you screw up? <laughs> Yeah, when I'm building a guitar, I like to know when I'm building it for someone, I, 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 keep, I keep that person in mind as I'm building it. There's something about it. Uh, the more I know about them, it, it's almost easier it is to build a guitar for them. I, 
I play very badly. All the guitarists laugh at me. I play, it, it's sick to hear me play, especially when you listen to them play the same piece. They can make a simple little piece sound beautiful, and I'll just butcher it. There's no BS about the guy, and, and there are, there's none about the guitars as well. I've often said two things would be ha make me happy. One would be, would be dying with wood that I never needed to use. I had so much, and two would be dying at my workbench. That that would be, that's where I all. I've, that's where if I want to go, that's where I'd like to go. Still working. I never want to stop. It. Mark Jones, New Center Four.